Chapter 19, Gizmo. Once again, the screeching of birds wakes the entire forest. Must they have choir practice at 6 a.m.? How very rude. I have made a list of rude creatures, and here it is for your information. Gizmo's list of the all-time rudest creatures. 1. Birds who sing in the morning. 2. Chipmunks who bonk you on the head with bits of cooked meat. 3. Hamsters who sneak into your eco-habitat and eat all your food. 4. All canines because of everything they do. I yawn and stretch my little legs. It is the start of another evil day. And as usual, I have much to accomplish. In case you are forgotten, let me remind you, yesterday I completed goal number one, which was to get rid of the stowaway and thief known as Butterball. She is gone. I am amazing. As I nibble on a blueberry, I think about the stowaway. Should I feel bad that I pushed her into the wilderness? No, I should not. She had plenty of food stored in her cheeks, and the toilet paper tube will serve as a bed and shelter. She can now join her fellow hamsters in the wild and live totally free. I will expect to receive a thank you card from her very soon. Dad, is everyone ready to hike to the top of Chipmunk Waterfall? Jackson, hike! Mom, Jackson, we're hiking two miles. You're too little to go that far. You... Stay here with a bullet and wedgie. Dad, we'll do a fun hike with you when we get back. Mom, yes, a little hike. Jackson, <sighs> Elliot, sorry, wedgie, you can't come with us either. They don't allow dogs on the trails. As I finish a second blueberry, Elliot reaches into my eco habitat. Oh no, not another field trip. Will these humans ever check my appointment calendar? I do not have time for this. I must focus on my goal number two, to get Thorgy's cape. And then I have a campground to conquer. Elliot, come on, Gizmo, stop squirming. We're going to have fun. Fun? Evil geniuses do not have fun. We mastermind evil plans. But I do not want to be unprepared, so I grab my Barbie binoculars. Elliot picks me up and carries me outside. Then he sets me onto his shoulder and hands me a peanut. We leave the tent. The evil chipmunks are sitting in their evil tree. I shake my fist at them. I do not know where my servant is taking me, but when I return, I will summon all the forest critters into my evil horde, and you will be vanquished. Then I glance down at the canine who is running around the tree. As for you, Thorgy, when I return, my new evil horde will steal your cape. But first, I must eat this lovely peanut. The humans begin to follow a path through the woods. The parents take the lead, with Jasmine in the middle and Elliot and I in the rear. Sitting on Elliot's shoulders provides me an excellent view of the world. I will one day rule. Mom, isn't it nice that Elliot and Jasmine are getting along so well? Dad, yeah, being outside is good for them. Jasmine, wow, look at that huge mushroom. Elliot, that's so cool. Look at that bird nest. To be king of the world means the entire world, and that includes neighborhoods like the one back home, villages, cities, islands, and forests. It even includes the oceans. I should add field trips to my calendar so that I can begin to see all the places I will rule and meet the strange creatures who live there. Strange creatures like the one that is currently hovering in front of me. It is bright blue with long lacy wings. I do believe it is called a dragonfly. One of its friends flies next to it. This one is bright red. They stare at me. I have long considered insects to be inferior since they have brains the size of a grain of sand. But insects are interesting for they do not think as individuals. They have hive mind, meaning they work as a group. Many have a queen. Oh, how perfect. If they will follow a queen, then they surely will follow a king. I shall invite these insects to join my evil horde. Greetings, I say. My name is the blue dragonfly lands on my head. For a moment, I am shocked. 
I look over at Elliot. Hello, do you not see this? There is a dragonfly sitting on my head. Elliot, did you guys see that blue jay? Jasmine, so pretty. Elliot, there's another one. Why is my servant looking at those birds? There is a bug on my head. I swat at the creature, be gone, but it does not move. To make matters worse, the red one lands on my head. My head is not a public bench. How dare they treat their future king in this manner? Elliot, Gizmo, stop moving around. You're gonna fall off. I swat again and again. Alas, my little arms cannot reach them. Elliot, my loyal service, why do you not help me? Get off. Whoops, I teeter, I totter. Now I'm falling, plummeting to a ghastly death. Oh dear reader, look away, cover your eyes. For this will most certainly be the most gruesome demise in history. Plunk. I am happy to report that I land on a soft pile of leaves. But this fall causes me to lose my balance, and I roll onto my side, then keep rolling down the an embankment. The world is a blurry place. I roll and roll. Will I ever stop rolling? Help!